I'm about to say something that I'm going to have to go on and explain directly afterwards. I hate internet apologists. Okay, now that I've gotten that off my chest, I'll explain what I mean. See, there are certain people on the internet who are part of this beautiful family we call the Catholic Church. And for some reason, these people have the complete urge to share every little Catholic factoid on the interweb at every point. You know exactly what I'm talking about. These are the kind of people who share everything about Catholic stuff. If there is a Life Site News article on abortion, they're sharing it. If new science comes out supporting traditional marriage, they will be sharing and commenting on it. And watch out if you try to argue with them, because they will throw the entire catechism in your face. And while that may sound like a joke, this book at high speeds will definitely hurt your face. Now you might be wondering, Connor, what's so wrong with these type of people? I mean, they're just going out sharing the faith, isn't it the same thing that you do? My response to that lovely question, hypothetical viewer, is no, it's not at all what I tried to do. See, I like to run my channel by the words of St. Bernadette of Lourdes. It is my job not to convince, but to inform. These type of Catholic apologists are the ones who are not trying to inform you, but all they want to do is convince you exactly why you are wrong and why they are right. Sometimes this is for good purposes, but oftentimes it's simply to serve their own ego and say, oh, look how much I know. I know how to be holy. And this method that they're speaking in is where the problem lies, because they aren't going to change anyone's hearts or minds with the way they're talking. See, they're going to automatically do what I call trapping. They're going to try to convince you of one thing, and then there's going to be a logical connection that they make that leads in, if you don't support this idea, you are an evil human being. And honestly, I've had this happen to me against Christianity. The nice thing, though, being that Catholicism kind of has all the fullness of Christianity, so you're able to win these arguments. But if I was not Catholic and someone who was Catholic started giving me all these things and started trapping me, I wouldn't, I would get so turned off to that religion so fast. Because if my simple comment of, yeah, I really don't think Mary should be prayed to, is answered with a, what do you mean we shouldn't honor Mary? I mean, wedding feast of Cana, Jesus responded and listened exactly to what she said and turned the water into wine at the cross. God said, hey, mother, behold your son, son, behold your mother. Therefore, we should love Mary and we should pray to her greatly. And how dare you say that? You're insulting my mama. I'm a pull of Ignatius Loyola. Come after you. Come out here. That is not going to turn anyone's hearts and minds. For you. It will definitely turn it against you. The other type of internet apologist who is just as annoying is the person who just shares everything Catholic. Okay, I get it. You're Catholic. You don't need to retweet every single Pope Francis tweet. Just, you don't need to. It's not necessary. It's the worst because they're hurting actual apologists' mission. See, a lot of times when people hear the term apologist, they think we're going to defend the faith. We're going to fight for it. We gonna, if anybody says otherwise, I'm going to throw all the facts at them. But throwing the facts at people are not going to convince them most of the time. Kind of because most people don't really care enough to get into a good argument. They're just saying, well, this is what I believe, that's what you believe. I mean, I'm not going to change. And some people will actually change and props on them. But for the most part, you're not going to have people changing. So going back to the words of St. Bernadette, make sure that when you are preaching on the internet, internet evangelization, an internet apologist, you inform. You don't convince. You just say the truth. Let it sit there. Beautiful thing about the truth is that it will defend itself. The truth is truth, therefore we'll let it free and it will defend itself like a lion. I want to say it's a Fulton Sheen quote. If I'm wrong, tell me. So yeah guys, there's the explanation for my statement that I get annoyed by internet apologists because they make it hard on everybody who's an actual apologist to actually do good work. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to Rise of Jerusalem, subscribe right down below. I do fun videos every Wednesday at 8 a.m. If you are subscribed, I got a question for you. How would you feel about a live stream on Instagram? I've wanted to do a nice good live stream for a while and I feel like it would be fun to do one, an Instagram one where you guys could ask me questions and I could just rant a little bit like this, but also answer a lot of your questions about really any topic. So yeah, if that sounds good to you, comment down below. Let me know if I get enough people saying, yeah, come on, let's do it. Then I'll do it. Come on. Even if it's like 12 people, I'll do a live stream with like 12 people. We'll all chat. We'll have a good time. It'll be fun. So let me know in the comments below and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I don't annoyingly internet apologize. I internet apostatize. Where's the propaganda? Videos? I don't know what I do. Vlogging, that's what I do. So thank you everybody so much for watching. This wasn't the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Rise up and live.